Hello and thank you for joining us today. In this video, I'd like to address a common question we receive from our customers. How much abrasive should we be using? As like many questions in WaterJet, there's not one single answer. Abrasive represents about 50% of the consumable cost of operating an abrasive water jet system. Understanding how to optimize your abrasive can be a key driver in controlling your operational cost or maximizing your throughput. In WaterJet, we typically express abrasive in terms of pounds per minute. And the fact of the matter is for any given orifice nozzle combination, there's actually a fairly large range of abrasive feed rates. Because of this range, we at Henco try to keep it simple. We advise customers to choose an abrasive setting that is based on one, achieving the fastest possible cutting speeds, or two, optimize your abrasive for the lowest cost of inch per cut. All right, the following graph illustrates the effective cutting speeds as abrasive changes while all other variables stay constant. All right, so let's take a moment and review the graph. In this graph, we are looking at both a 1030 and a 1440 orifice to nozzle combination, cutting half inch thick stainless at 60,000 PSI with a Q2 finish. On the vertical axis is the cut speeds expressed in IPM or inches per minute, on the horizontal axis is abrasive feed rates expressed in pounds per minute. As we review the graph, we are looking for the two points which we talked about earlier. One is the fastest cutting speeds and the second is the most economical. Fastest cutting speeds in any cutting combination is the apex in the curve. The apex for any cutting combination is the point at which any additional abrasive actually decreases cutting speeds. For example, in the graph, the apex for the 1440 combination is 1.4 pounds of abrasive resulting in 8.2 inches per minute. As maximum speed is approached, the more abrasive added results in a smaller increase in speed. And at a certain point, any additional abrasive will actually decrease the cutting speed. Optimum or economical cut speeds are defined as the intersection of speed and cost per inch of cut. As shown above, the maximum cut speed for a 1440 is 8.2 inches per minute with 1.4 pounds of abrasive. When considering optimum cut speed, users should consider the amount of any additional abrasive versus the additional gain in cut speeds. All right, this Excel chart is another way to look at this. Uh, as you can see here, this is a 1440, and we're looking at here is different abrasive feed rates, the percentage increase, uh, versus the cut speed and percentage increase. So another way of defining optimal cut speeds is where any increase in abrasive equals the increase in cut speeds as a percentage. When looking at the graph, the optimal abrasive feed rate for the lowest cost of inch of cutting is the portion of the graph where the line starts to flatten out or is no longer a steep curve. All right, all the above information is guidelines for customers to consider and balanced against their individual goals within their respective operations. What we do suggest customers consider is the following. Understand how much abrasive you are using. Does it match your manufacturer's recommendations? Have you checked it against other industry calculators? And last, and most important, does your flow rate match the input in your CNC. And then next, things to consider, how often do you check or verify abrasive flow rates? Many abrasive metering systems use a fixed opening or electric conveyor system to meter abrasive, all of which can change over time. All right, folks, before we go, I wanted to circle back and take a look at this abrasive flow chart uh, by manufacturer. Uh, what we did is we went out on the web and found uh, the suggested flow rates uh, for flow style, warjet style, and OMAC style machines for a variety of orifice nozzle combinations. And what you can see if you're looking at this is uh, abrasive by manufacturer uh, for any given uh, nozzle orifice combination does vary, uh, which is kind of interesting. And if I were to summarize uh, by manufacturer, I would say that the flow style is definitely closer uh, or more towards the middle of optimum versus fast cutting, uh, where the Warjet style and definitely the OMAC style are definitely pushing the envelope of more abrasive and trying to get you closer to that uh, fastest cutting speed. 
Uh, the only one that I really question uh, their brace of flow rates is Omax. If you look at the 1430, uh, it's about 0.8 or 0.7 pounds of abrasive. When they go to the same orifice but increase the nozzle to a 40, they almost double the abrasive, uh, which doesn't seem to make sense to me. But uh, I'll have to talk to different users to see if the, how that's working for them. All right, folks, we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to plug, if you will, our Henco Precision Core AMD. Uh, this device, one of the reasons we like it is because it has so many different settings that allow users to easily find uh, both the optimal cutting setting and the fastest cutting speeds. And one of the ways we're able to do that is through our unique aperture design. We basically have an aperture, as you're gonna see here, uh, that basically as you turn the knob increases and decreases uh, the size of the opening. And with this technology we're able to offer uh, every WaterJet user 32 different settings of abrasive. Hey folks, as always, thank you very much for joining us today and we look forward to helping you with all of your WaterJet needs and issues. Uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. 1-833-4HENCO.